with Luis Desposito, and I am here with Jeff Bell, and I'm here with Jed Whedon, and I'm here with Mr. Tancheron. But you can answer all the spoiler questions, because I, they're here. <laughs> I, I can do my best in order to help with what's going on. Well, Jeff, I'm just curious, how do you feel like in that period when we're like, we're finishing up the season, and then we, we don't really know if we're going to get that next season for like eight and four. And now we, do, we, now we do know. Is it stressful? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said otherwise. Um, I, you know, look, all we can do is tell the best stories that we can. Uh, we have an incredible fan base, we have an incredibly loyal audience, uh, and we've got great partners at ABC. So, at the end of the day, my feeling is that you know, there wasn't any reason that we weren't coming back. So, you know, we told stories that enabled us to uh, come back and have a good time and, and get really excited. You brought on four new regulars this season. Um, so, are we going to kind of dive into their backstories more and explore them hopefully next season? Look, one of the challenges of, uh, about the show is that when you have that many characters, you know, how much can you go in? I think the thing for us this season that we really want to focus on uh, is the concept of being inhuman and what it means. And when you you know you start and you're dealing with something like just look at Colson. He's lost his arm. He's lost you know he's been brought back to life. He has alien DNA inside of him. So there's a you know is he human? What does that mean? And then when you look at someone like Ward who towards the end of last season had done some really horrible things, some would say inhuman things, you've got another way of looking at it. And then there's the Marvel version of it, which is that Terrigen is now out there. And so, you know, we should be aware of that and what it's going to do. And so when you think about, you know, an easy access way for people to look at the show, that's what's exciting to us about season three is, is that now S.H.I.E.L.D. has a real instant mission, which is they know that there are going to be people that pop up that are different, and, and it works really well in the Marvel Universe. The Marvel Universe has always been built on trying to take what's happening in the real world and make it work in the Marvel Universe. And so our growing tolerance, and at the same time intolerance, for people that are different, whether it is race or religion or sexuality, that those choices that we make about our personal lives is something that we can then take a look at and make that about people that are enhanced. Uh, season 2 question. Andrew Garner mentioned to May that he has pictures on his desk. Do you know who those pictures are of? I, I would say yes, and I would also say I can't discuss it. Okay. <laughs> and, and what's great about it is, is a psychiatrist. So, so no one's going to be able to answer that question except for him. <laughs> do, do, do you know who was in the pictures on his desk? Uh, we know everything that we put in the show. Let's okay. Put it that way. All right. I'm off. Sorry. Thanks so much. Have fun.